This is Gerdawa Marasteel, the second largest mini mill steel producer in North America. Just cut it, right. And this is Billy Combs, a disabled veteran from Vietnam who served in the Army for more than seven years. Today, Billy is getting a unique on the job experience thanks to a mentoring program from Enable America. So, you guys don't do the ties, do you? You know, like when they get the rebarb to site and they got to tie them together? I value it as an excellent opportunity because it gives you that real time, face to face interaction. It also allows you to build a network with the individuals from uh, this facility and also down at the corporate headquarters. Billy knows the connections he makes through Enable America's mentoring program today can lead to employment tomorrow. So when there is something, they'll say, hey, Billy, guess what? We got a job. Come on down and talk to us. Always turn your weaknesses into a positive and into a strength. And this is another Enable America service to disabled veterans, a job readiness workshop. Human resource professionals meet in groups and in one-on-one -on -one sessions helping disabled veterans sharpen the skills they need to compete for jobs. Uh, right now, it's very tough. It's very tough out there. Veterans like George Williams, who served in the Navy, but is now working toward a career in occupational health and safety. I bring a lot of experience with me from the military. Um, I've been doing my part in regards to furthering my education to make me more competitive uh, with my peers, um, and that I believe with my success from the military, that I can be successful in a civilian company. Sherry Nicholas is a disabled veteran who served in Iraq and more recently took part in a mentoring day at Clark Construction. She agrees. You can get so frustrated because you being a veteran getting out the Army, you don't do this on a regular basis, but they kind of, you know, eat the Enable America kind of pull you in and let you know it's okay. And I'm really, I'm really grateful to them, especially for having, you know, veterans. Because, I mean, even though a lot of people do say, because you're in the Army, you can, you can get a job like that, that's not the case. Number one, it's fantastic to give back. As the HR manager for Clark Construction, Gina Wallace knows Enable America's programs are not charity. They are good business. From a business sense, veterans or people with disabilities are viable options. Again, with the military background, as we're working with mostly today, you have the leadership qualities, um, the discipline, uh, the managerial skills that a lot of folks have learned and um, fostered in the military, and we found it to be quite successful in our business. And Gerdau Ameristil CEO Mary Olongi has also discovered the value that Enable America brings to his company. So again, because we always were engaged with veterans, and now in more recent years, because of the wars that are going on, uh, and the partnership with Enable America has improved our ability to offer a helping hand. But none of this would be possible without the help of organizations that agree to join us and participate in the effort. There is no question that Enable America could not successfully assist disabled veterans find work without the support of our business community. Across the country, we're blessed to have so many businesses that have stepped up to the plate to help. From mentoring programs to job readiness workshops and more, Enable America works to put disabled veterans back on the job. Um, I think it's a great program, um, and I would just like to say thank you very much, Enable, Enable America. Um, and just keep supporting the veterans. A blessing in disguise. They are so good about it. And they kind of give you, you know, give you back that little hope. It would not be, let me say, as easy to embark on an effort that has a high probability of success in achieving its goals if you didn't have an organization that would put together from beginning to end the steps and the connections necessary for the program to work the best. And I think Enable America has been very successful in putting that program together. I think it's a privilege to have an organization such as Enable America to partner with.